Hey guys, it's me, Destiny, and I'm doing this video today because I get a lot of questions about products that I've already done review on, and I kind of want to do a re-raise, you know what I mean? Because people come and say, is this breaking you out, or is this still good, or how do you like this? So I want to start off with two of my favorite products that are still staying this test of time, that I'm still really, really crazy about. And they are the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This one is number 178. And this is by far my favorite foundation. I use this very, very sparingly because it's expensive and it's worth every dime. It goes on very, very well. It's smooth. It's, it's buildable. It's very natural. And it makes you look absolutely flawless on camera. It's one of my favorite foundations. And I showed this first for exactly that reason. Again, this is Makeup Forever HD Foundation in number 178. If you're looking for a new foundation, you're addicted to MAC, trying that HD foundation might kind of change your mind. Let me get my bag of goodies. Okay, my next product has to be the Revlon Color Stay um, Mineral um, Finish. I like these a lot. They have really pretty veining. They just go on really beautifully. They give your skin a really nice soft glow. They're finely milled, and if you can see that, let me put my pen down. If you can see that, pretty glow it gives you. It's amazing. It's good for all over. It's good for highlighting. You can use it as eyeshadow. You can use it as lipstick. You can use it for whatever you want. I have suntan. I have, I'm sorry, this is sun kiss. This is sun pan matte. And I also have brighten. And these are my favorite Revlon products, I have to say, especially my favorite. My next house. product is definitely Makeup Forever Professional Bronzer, Matte Bronze. This is a great bronzing powder because it's not sparkly at all. It's matte, and it just gives your skin a very soft, diffused glow. It's definitely one of my favorite products for summertime when it's extremely hot. Just to buff on my face really quick or kind of take some of the sweat away, kind of take some of the shine away. It's really great without wanting to look too shiny because if you have really oily skin and then you put sparkles on top of it, you're gonna look <laughs> you're gonna look really oily, really shiny, and that's one of my favorite products to keep that from happening. My next um, favorite product is also a Makeup Forever product. It's the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. Now, this powder is amazing. It's not really for oil absorption, but I like to use it as a set powder, and I also like to use it to absorb oil because it does do that, but it's not made for that. Um, this helps to take away pores. It just makes your face look amazing. It gives your face that kind of gauzy blur effect. This works brilliantly over any foundation, but when paired with Makeup Forever um, products, it's, it's like amazing. You get a lot of it, and it a little bit goes a very, very long way. One of my next favorite products is actually a brush, and it's the Sonia Kashuk. Um, I think this is a, supposed to be a bronzing brush. I love it because it's flat, and it really, really works really well with foundation. It really gives you a really streakless, really well blended look for your foundation. It's one of my favorites. It's really dense. And I've had it for quite a long time. It, it's really withstanding washing. It hasn't faded. It's not slaying or doing anything silly. It's really, really a great, great lush brush. Um, this, you may not recognize because I had to depot it because it got all broken up, is the infamous Love Rush blush in which I have to do a new video on because it's been a while and I love this, this blush. It's good for summer, spring, and fall. It's one of those holy grail blushes that looks wonderful on everybody. My mother loves it, which is rare, because she doesn't really like makeup, because she has such great skin. Please. And this blush looks good on her. My mother's caramel. I'm chocolate. I've used this on some of my fairest skin friends, Asian friends, Caucasian, and it looks wonderful on everybody. My next blush is actually NARS Cactus. Cactus Flower. Cactus Flower. And Matisse. Clarette. They're very, very similar. One cream, one powder, but they're both amazing. They're really, really pretty, poppy colored bl um, blushes. Actually very similar to the color of my nail. I will do a swatch for you. Um, the, the cactus flower actually has gold flecks in it. 
and the Clarisse Claret does not, but they're very, very similar, as I will show you in one second. And as you can see, they're very similar, but let me go ahead and um, swatch this one on my other hand. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so this is um, Claret, and this is Cactus Flower. And as you can see, they're very similar. One's powder, one cream, but they're both really, really great blushes. Really, really, really bright, beautiful colors for the summer and springtime. And even look great in the fall time, really to wake your face up. You're wearing a nice matte, maybe gray eye with a really pretty cheek. I think that's gorgeous. My next favorite is definitely, this is an undeniably mauve. And this is from L'Oreal Infallible Mine Lip Products. And I will give you a swatch of that as well. It lasts very long. It has this really cool smell to it. I don't really know how to explain it. It lasts, it's 16 hours, as I already just said. But um, it's one of my favorite lip products because this color is very, very popular. It's kind of like Lavender Whip, which I was obsessed with, and I still am, and I barely even wore it. When I get something, sometimes I love it so much, I don't wear it. Go figure. But that's definitely one of my favorite lip products. The NYX Blush in Copper. Oh my goodness, look at that. This you can use as highlight and contour powder. You can use this as blush. You can use this as bronzer. You can use this as eyeshadow. You can use this on your lips. You can use this on your shoulders, on your decolletage, on your legs. Everywhere. You could put it in your lotion and just really go crazy with it. It's a really pretty color. Here it is again right here. My last product for eyes is... Wait, let me get a name first before I open it. It is Callista Shadow, and this is from Coastal Scents. It's a, it's a powder eyeshadow, and it is a very, very beautiful and unique color. I'm in love with this. I haven't used it in a while because it's been so hot that I'm just like, I don't even feel like doing my makeup. I'm just going to lay here. And here it is right here. It's a kind of green, gold, antique color. Kind of reminds me of curry in a way. It's really, really cool color. It goes on well. It's blendable. And if you use your jumbo pencil and milk and then put that on top, your eyes will pop off of your face. It is an amazing color. My last two products kind of go hand in hand. It's the MAC Studio Sculpt, last but not least, and my Beauty Blender Sponge. Now, originally I had the blue one, which is softer and more absorbent than this purple one. So I kind of like the blue one more, but this purple one does the same thing. It does its job. It's kind of filthy right now, but same thing. And I love this MAC foundation. This I love so much more than any other other formulations because it's a gel, first of all. It lasts very, very long. It doesn't have too much red in it. And it's just a really, really good light formulation. And a little bit of this also goes a very long way. I use this in NW47 with my NW50 concealer. And it's just a beautiful combination. So those are pretty much all the products that I wanted to show. All the products that I'm really, really extremely wild about. My go-to products, the products I use the most, the products I take take with me when I'm going away for the weekend or something like that. I definitely shove most of my stuff. Okay, guys, so that's it for my re ray video. If you have any questions about any of the products in this video, just let me know. Or if you have any questions about any products from any of my other videos, feel free to ask me. Um, just because the product wasn't in this video doesn't mean that I don't love it. It just means that I don't love it as much as I love these products. Always comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.